chill with they bop or he bozo. I'm the one dodging bullets in slow mo. Little bitch, you are not at a dojo. You guys watch shit. WWE growing up? I did, yeah. Who was no. your favorite? Um, it used to be Scotty for real. Scotty Too Hotty, yeah. Interesting. I just like the worm. The worm was just cool at the time. <laughs> the worm was cool at the time. Um, Xbox was okay. Xbox was okay, but yeah, it was, it was probably Scotty. But then as I got older, I think it changed a little to bit. To who? Like now, I don't even watch it at all. I don't either no more. Um, I used to love Rey Mysterio back in the day. Oh, that's cool. Rey's cool. He got beat up by his son. Did he? Um, they had yeah. a custody battle yeah. over his son. Remember yeah. that? Him and Eddie Guerrero? It was like oh, they fought over custody of Ray's kid because they're... That was one of the storylines. Yeah, I didn't even nuts. know that. I just know Ray and, Ray and his son, and then he, like, beat him, right? Then he beat his son. Ray and his son fought. Recently, right? No, I don't know if it was recent. They I thought this fought. was a real story. Right. <laughs> it's so no, kind of disappointing. The sad part is the 619 shit, but... No, you know who it is now? 619? Didn't he murder somebody? No, no, that was Ray Mysterio, but yeah, on accident. You know you know who I fuck with now? Uh, Randy. Wait, who murdered somebody? Ray, Ray Mysterio, Mysterio killed someone on accident. Like, this, someone died in the ring, yeah. Yeah. That was a, that's a real thing. It was like, it was like a, he was doing this, yeah. yeah, like some underground wrestling shit. He uh, stepped on somebody's neck. I think it was like, it wasn't like. No, no, it was it was real. It was WWE? It was real? Yeah. Or, it was like, look this he up. didn't know he was dead. I think that was Ray. Uh, Jamie, can you pull this up real quick? <laughs> <laughs> Jamie's like, damn. No, nah, but. I don't think his name is Jamie. I was just, that was, that was a. Uh, Good guess. Uh, is his name Jamie? His name is James. James. Oh. <laughs> Oh, uh, good one, good one, good one. They got me. <laughs> no, but I think that was Ray, though, that he didn't know the dude was dead already. That's, like, filmed. He didn't know yeah. the dude was dead. Yeah. Hey, some of those WWE storylines from back in the day, crazy. Oh, the pipe, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. I just, I watched the fucking, the, just the Stone Cold arc in general is crazy. Like, niggas made him, like, I don't even know, bro. That's, like, the crazy amount of, like, edging. You feel me? Like the craziest amount of edging and the craziest amount of like niggas would just play his song and go crazy. And he wouldn't come out for like a whole season. Yeah. He wouldn't come out for like a whole season. But yeah, he, uh, I don't think it was WWE. It wasn't. He killed oh, a 35 year old dude. Someone, someone has it filmed. I remember seeing like the shit. Cause crazy. he just didn't know. Oh, Tijuana. Fucking, uh, but Randy, Randy Orton. Randy Orton. Yeah. Because RKO is hilarious. This nigga showed me an RKO compilation. Oh, dude, They're bro, crazy, crying, laughing, bro. Yeah, and He's they put crazy. the they put the 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 music behind or the the sound behind it. Yeah, where it's uh, the announcer like, oh no, don't do it, don't do it, and then it just <laughs> RKO is crazy, bro. He like pretends to be dead. It, that one was crazy. Like it's somebody jumps from the top ropes and he like jumps up backwards and like <laughs> catches him and RKO's him. It's like he woke up. Yeah, like a reflex. WWE so genius. Like it's the best reality TV it's probably the yeah. best reality. It's like, it has to make yeah, it's like better than. It's been going for decades. It's yeah, been going for like billions. forty years. It's probably billions. And then Vince McMahon's walk is. How good. many episodes do you think they got? Over under. What do you guys think? Over under, eighteen hundred episodes. Not more than that. Over. More? Yeah. Because mm-hmm. they probably do. Are what? you counting E and then to F? Yeah. You know what I mean? Are you counting both? Or are you just gonna split them? No, you gotta count both. All right, uh, you yeah, gotta count both. Over How many episodes of football do you think there is? Like NFL? Yeah. yeah. Are, we, are we talking yeah, college too? No, just NFL. No, just, that's been going on for years. NFL has right? been around for about less than a hundred years. Um, Cause do we count those as episodes, or are they just like what do we call that? Sixteen weeks. It's games. Yeah, it is just games, bro. I mean, you could look at them as episodes. If I mean, you, they're on TV. If so you see the players as like, well, there's a script all, for the all NFL players now. Are personalities. Like so they script out the NFL now. Have you seen that promotion that they're doing? Nah. They're sending out the script to like people early. It's what like a mean? whole social media thing. Like, like script and says like commenting or script like the game. No, like a script. Like they'll send like a script and it'll be like, hey, like, like uh, they just did a commercial with Lil Wayne and they sent him the script and it's like him reading the NFL script because people always say the shit scripted. So now they're starting to play into it. Oh whoa, mm. yeah. that's crazy. Did you guys play sports growing up? Nah, nah. No? I, don't know. I played mm. like with my neighbor, like niggas in my neighborhood because he's just bored. But yeah, like, I wasn't like going to school to play basketball and shit. But I like play with homies. Yeah, just do anything. When I was five, I was like playing shit. basketball. But I uh, quit. My mom let me quit. What part of California are you guys from? I'm from Compton. And then I'm from South mm. Central. Yeah. What was it like growing up there? It was cool. It's not bad. I, yeah, I grew up with. Uh, there was a lot of old people on my street. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And there was like uh, at one like older homie who put me onto a lot of shit named Robert. And then I don't know, it was cool. It was yeah, yeah. It, it was. I think by the time we, probably like when we both were into it, it was like shit started calming down, like neighborhoods started calming down. But it's like niggas are still doing stupid shit. At least like I, I was outside a lot, but 
get my mm. back stolen and shit, but like, yeah, it's like kid shit. It's not like nothing super crazy. I think the one, of the, the only crazy thing that I don't think was like wild is just like, I remember at one point some lady was in the middle of the street naked. I think she was on drugs or something, but on my street <laughs> at night. There was like a um, crazy thing on my street. There was this gay kid named Eli. Yeah. I fuck with Eli, but. He wasn't to play with, and somebody said something to him. Then he came outside with a knife. He was like, he was like eleven. <laughs> Come on, bro. Oh, dude, kids with knives never good. Bro. Yeah, he's like, what's up then? I was like, you lit, man. <laughs> and he can sing his ass off. Eli, bro, never good. I like the name Eli. I don't mind that. Yeah, that's cool. You don't meet a lot of them. No, nah, not at all. Not Elijah. At all. Elijah, right. not bad. I don't want to go by Eli though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who are some artists that you guys were listening to a lot growing up? A lot growing up. Mm-hmm. Uh. One CD by Outkast called Idlewild. That one was crazy. Uh, I like the first CD album like had on my own mm. that I can like play. Um, Kanye in passing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My mom, I feel like it was just so popular, like everybody was playing it. Yeah. So like a lot of him. My dad put me on a Ludacris. Mm-hmm. I don't know why he listened to Ludacris that much, but he was. That was like <laughs> he was hot. It, it was, was undeniably cool, ludicrous. Missy yeah. Elliott for sure too. Yeah, yep. Missy Elliott Same was crazy. Thing. Yeah, it's, it's funny how much Southern, like how much like I didn't, I didn't grow up with a lot of West Coast shit in the mm-hmm. house. Yeah, my dad tried, but mm. yeah, that's surprising. The only pop one was probably Dre at the time, but the same pipeline like just sister playing Missy. The first real like piece of music that was mine that was like for my birthday was like some random ludicrous mixtape. Mm-hmm. A, like literal mixtape, yeah. And then the first CD I bought, I think, was a Danger Doom album because some n- nigga in summer school was like, You gotta listen to Danger Doom because we were talking about Adult Swim, mm-hmm. and I guess he had all the characters on the album. And he's like, You gotta listen to it, bro. It's crazy. This kid named Brandon with braces. Oh, and Black Eyed Peas, too. I forgot, yeah. Then, yeah, Monkey yeah, Business. Yeah. Those are I, the I feel like once I got like music I bought, like consciously of age, like you know, when you start like realizing music is like an actual thing, yeah. yeah. Uh, because my mom. When we were born, she was just like really into reggae, which is weird. Cause I don't like reggae, <laughs> um, but she like there's like certain things I'd ask her about, and I'm like, "Yo, were you here for this?" She's like, "I just stopped listening to like popular music when I was like born." So I like that thought that you just said. The thought of music when you're a kid is so foreign. Like I remember listening to music when I was younger and hearing people do ad libs, and I was like, "How the fuck did they do that?" Like they're talking <laughs> yeah. at the same time, saying two different things. <laughs> no, it's nuts. You don't. It's funny, the more you do it too, I feel like that's why like, like when you do music, it's interesting because you lose the magic of it, which kind of sucks. Like you listen to it wondering how you can do something or how, like you know how it's done technically. Like you're listening to it differently. Where I feel like if you don't make music, it's kind of cool because you get to just listen and just only vibe. Yeah, mm-hmm. you only get to like you listen to it and you're just like yeah this is cool I like this I don't like this but I feel mm-hmm. like when you make music you're like oh crazy the ad libs did this oh it's crazy like those chords like you're listening to it like different perspective mm-hmm. I, I feel the same way about working in the music industry mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. once you sure. kind of do it for a while it's like I used to love music so so much or I still love music mm-hmm. but at a certain point you go to like so many shows and, and you kind of I don't know at a certain point I, I found myself like when I was like 17, I'd spend like the only $50 I had on like concert tickets. Yeah. And now it's like there's sometimes I'll, you know, like not want to go to a show. Yeah. Mm. It's, it's oh, weird. Yeah. But yeah. that's the problem right now, too, is that um, it's so accessible to make. I think people lose the value in it. Mm-hmm. So, like, if a 14 year old can just do the same thing mm-hmm. as like a 45 year old can, yeah. and like learn it in within a week. Yeah. And then people don't care about music as much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because when we were growing up, like like celebrities in general or stars, they felt so, so far away. Or they felt yeah. like they were so up here and now like just with how accessible things are and just social media and all that shit in general. Yeah. It's like you can know everything about uh Drake now, but like Tupac back in the day, there was like ten interviews. And it's like right. that's all the footage that you had to like learn about him. Yeah. Right. You had to be yeah. at a show or see him in person. Like mm-hmm. you weren't just going on his IG feed and which is always crazy to me, because um, back then, sometimes rumors would spread like pre-internet, mm-hmm. and I don't know how. But <laughs> in my head, I don't understand that crazy. concept. 
Like <laughs> niggas really thought for a long time Sierra had a penis. I don't know where that came Which from. Which is crazy. I don't get that it. I don't. Fucked. I really have no idea. Like, because everybody knew it. Yeah. My mom's in the car. Like, she got a dick. I'm like, bro, what are we talking? about? Like, how do you know this? Yeah, it's nuts, bro. There's somebody out there. Somebody. I don't know where, but they started that rumor. And they watched it spread little by little and get to that point, pre-social media, and they're proud. They're sitting back proud. That's crazy. That's bro. so crazy. So at what age did you two first start creating music? Um, I think I was in high school. Yeah, I think I was like 11th grade or something. Yeah. When probably, I tried. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 11th grade, I started making like not even beats. Mm -hmm. I, I was on this thing called Guitar Pro, mm -hmm. and like you could just like kind of tab out guitar shit. Mm -hmm. So I was just making a bunch of like rock shit through that, mm -hmm. and then yeah. And once I got out of high school, like I was like nineteen, I was like, all right, like I'm gonna try to get like real, try to make some real shit. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I was like, I don't know, I was probably like in high school, and then just like listening to like Cool Kids and shit. And I was, cool like, Kids was hard when they beats. came out. Yeah. That shit was so crazy. Crazy. They were, I was trying to rap to that beat. Yeah, that was so crazy. Yeah. yeah. So I, was, I fell off the train because I think when Cool came, Cool Kids came out, that's when like Jerkin also got popular. <laughs> mm. And then if you're in L LA, like it was like a sickness. Yeah. Yeah. Bro. So that like it crazy, was like, bro. it was so crazy. I but wish I like, could have experienced that. Nah, because it it's like, it's, it's like every, I'm going to put this in white terms. It's like every jock you know started doing a thing. Uh, mm -hmm. So it wasn't like it wasn't like inclusive of like non jock type behavior. Right. So it was like the main motive was like fucking bitches. Yeah. Being a part of some crew. It was like pre gang banging type behavior. Uh like if you're from LA, you know about Power Rangers and like, right, or pushes. And pushes and it's yeah. crazy. So Shinori. when I feel like right when Cool Kids came out. Shinori. Tiger and just the jerking movie just took over okay. the fashion, just how like that looked, which is crazy. And yeah. so like I feel like at some point in time I'm like, all right, like the cool kids got lumped into that for me. So I was like, right. I don't even care. Anymore. I don't care as much mm. anymore. It was just tough because they just they were just doing it. And yeah. Then, like the snapbacks thing that just catapulted from, you know, everybody. Know, I mean, not everybody, but yeah, people. Everybody. You know the pipeline. Yeah. Right. They they stole all that shit. Weird yeah. time. The Cookie Monster hat. Bro, yeah, the tiny the backpack. Tiny backpack strapped yeah. all the way up. The oh. Cookie Monster snapback. What a what a that sick crazy, time period. Bro. Did you guys ever partake? Nah. No, nah, I I just was like, nah. Yeah. Nah. You had to be a type of person. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you had to be a type of person or yeah. you looked like there's so many people I knew that were like trying to do that. And if you really if you weren't a pretty boy, right. It, you look really dumb. pretty boy swag for real. Yeah. You had to be really you really have to be a pretty boy. You have to be able to backflip. Right. You have to like. Lace your shoes correctly. Yeah. You can't backflip. You're fucking hoes at like 14. Right. I was not fucking hoes at 14. I was yeah. playing video games for Type real. shit. Favorite video games ever. Oh, Let's talk God, about it. Bro, don't even When you that. say 14, I'm thinking like Call of Duty, Black Ops. XCOM Ops. 2. XCOM 2 is my favorite video game on the planet. Ever? I don't think I've ever played that. Oh, yeah. Sims. Sims. Sims was Sims great back in the day. Is, Sims 3 is goaded. Yeah. Um, two's hard though, but like three is the one. Uh, I'm about playing Sims on the desktop as a it's kid. Crazy. That's how. That's how. Like, I miss that time period because I would literally. That's how I listen to music. Is that mm. I'd start up a new Sims, and I just download a bunch of shit. Mm -hmm. Like I just torrent a bunch of albums. Like I'd spend like a good hour and a half prepping so I get the albums I wanted. Put the album art on, on Apple. Now before it was Apple Music. I put yeah. the album on iTunes. iTunes yeah. Put all the info properly. Be like, make sure the year's right. Make That's sure funny. The song credits is crazy. I did that too. And then yeah. I'd be like, I well, listen to like all these albums, and yeah. then I just play Sims. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, I would do that, but wash dishes. But games, uh, fuck, bro. SSX. Yeah, obvious. That's obvious. It's not obvious. Nobody knows knows about that anymore. SSX trick. Yeah, they don't. But it's like favorite game of all time is crazy. Mm. Recently, Beyond Good and Evil is crazy. But that's a, it was a slept on game. I just played it like two years ago. Okay. Crazy. It's like in the vein of like the platformer action adventure, like kind of Jack and Daxter type shit, but like, or like Ratchet and Clank, kind of that, but way better than both of them. That one's tight. Jesse Radio Future's tight. Never got to play is tight. Oh man. Jesse Radio is so crazy, yeah. bro. Even when you listen to music, it's like, when you listen to the music first without playing it, it don't make sense. When you play it, it's like, Everything, how they cue it, yeah, like Hideki's crazy. The nigga who made composed it, he's wild. It's just that game is crazy. That game's crazy. 
Yeah. Video oh, game soundtracks uh, too. GTA yeah. Four. Yeah. Oh best yeah, GTA Four is literally the, the best. best. That's the one with the Nico. Nico Belli. Yeah, that's, that's the best, best one. GTA. Yeah. Best GTA. Red Dead Two. Best you think game that's I the best played. one? That's the best. I love San Andreas as a kid. Yeah, but yeah, like that's but just like, too easy, bro. It's like too statue of limitations, but it's over now. Yeah, like, niggas aren't playing San Andreas no more. Like it's classic. Yeah, speak for yourself. San Andreas is, classic. San Andreas is classic. classic. You can't beat it. It's like the ill mad. It's like the fucking. Yeah, you know I mean, it's like one of those. But it's like niggas. San Andreas. Four? San Andreas is the biggie in Tupac of video games. Literally, bro. You can't yeah, beat you it. You can't like. It's like it's like yeah, it's good, but like played again. It's I'm like, like, it's bit, cool. Oh, to give like, to give respect to Biggie and Tupac, like they're tight still. That's what I'm saying. Like, San Andreas, like you're you're not playing that game right now. Yeah. How did it feel? Like I I always thought about San Andreas, right? Because it's based off of like L.A., California. Yeah. Like, did I'm you Vegas. play those video games as a kid? And like, oh, like I see exactly what this is based off of. Uh, San Andreas yeah. was like the way they modeled that wasn't proper. Yeah, it nah. was like it's like a little it's, weirder. It's like a com- yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. You would just know because they had named certain shit, certain shit. Exactly. So yeah. in Ganton, you're like. This is Compton, then, right? yeah. yeah. Like, are you like, or like when you're in the Redlands, like, oh, this is like the IE, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, it's like, I'll give it the GTA Five. They modeled it so like well LA. Out of LA. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I used to be jealous. Like, I always used to wish that GTA would do one based off of Chicago's like landscape and streets. Oh, that'd be crazy. Um, I just always thought it would have been cool, like growing up somewhere and playing that video game, especially at that time period where like, yeah. uh, what did San Andreas drop? Like 2004, something like that. Yeah. Um, what a time. What a time. It's crazy, Hot bro. coffee mod. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yes. And now you go online and they got all types of That's animated crazy. shit. Oh, yes. bro. Shout out to animated pornos. Yeah. That's crazy. crazy. Cause niggas is spending real time and energy to put that work. Cause now in, <laughs> it's gonna be crazy. I don't know why I'm talking about this. But now they're starting to get voice actors and it's kind of nuts. Oh, that's so like wild. Americans, not not the, not like some random shit. That's yeah, crazy. Not, like you know, like they've had hentai for years. Yeah. So that shit's already been going. I don't know how they got that budget. Yeah. yeah. But in America now, niggas is like paying people, like paying women to do the shit. I'm like, you guys are snapping. Niggas are wicked, bro. Yeah, I'm like, you guys are crazy. More power to them. The <laughs> Patreon's going up. So how did you two first meet? Uh, school. Yeah, at school through a homie. It was a high school. Homie. Or uh, we were in like, college. It was a homie from high school. Yeah, yeah his homie I, from high school. Yeah, yeah, my homie from high school introduced us. Yeah, mm-hmm. he had a French class and he introduced. Mm-hmm. They had a French class together. They got He's really the funniest cool. dude <laughs> I had met at the time. He's the funniest dude I've like. Yeah, if we sit funny, for too bro. long, it's like <laughs> stomach churning. Like it's like it's so fucked up. You ever have that friend where like you can't sit with for too long because you start laughing too hard? <laughs> He was that for me in French class because he'd come in there and he he was uh he's Mexican but he looked so white. Yeah. So he'd come Mexican in and just bang fun. on me every day, but like <laughs> silently, and he like dressed like a paper boy. Yeah. Like he just, he has like the little paper boy hat, and then like he always wear like shorts. He's kind of thick, so he got like shorts. He like shorts that go to his thigh. He has like a little polo tee, a little paper boy hat. He'll walk in there and just be like, like that silently. Just throw some shit up. <laughs> Niggas really. You have a photo of him. Uh, no, not on the like nah, off the cuff. Nah, nah. That's the homie. He'll do that, and it was funny because like no one in class would know he was like that. Nah, because he'd just be chilling. He'll like whisper crazy shit to me. <laughs> like what? Um. Okay, so like here's like one story. His dad had died, but he like didn't know him. He like yeah. he died like kind of like when he was off mad, screen. Yeah. Yeah. He died off screen somewhere. <laughs> yeah. And so he, we knew, I knew that his yeah, dad died. And nobody thing. else would. In the class, so like there'd be this other kid named Brandon, and Brandon be like, "Me and my dad go golfing sometimes," and then <laughs> Asus would come up to me and be like, "Yeah, me and my dad too, bro." He yeah, like, like, like that. It was so <laughs> crazy because I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and they'd be like, and we're like, and that's why I brought up a dad. He'd be like, "He's like, yeah, mine too. That's crazy." Right. <laughs> he just look, at, look at whoever he, knows, it, bro. He's been running that joke since high school. I like this guy. He's funny, bro. Oh, the he'll funniest just, like, dude. Just, every time he does, he just looks at you and just raises his eyebrows or something mm-hmm. like Because <laughs> you're the only one who knows. It's like, nigga, what? Uh, no, he's, he's great, bro. What were your initial thoughts about each other? I didn't. I thought you didn't fuck with me. But it was I was just crazy. I just didn't. I was just, just like, this is just the homie of my friend. Mm-hmm. So I was like, all right. Like, was, I, I was not thinking about it. There was, a, there was one point in time, I'll never forget this memory, because it was like, I was a very awkward high school kid. Like, I was like social in the for a bit, but like outside of high school, I started really growing my legs. And Jesus left, it's me and him at Taco Bell. And I'm like, hey man, we're gonna have like, this is like our black guy talking time. And he looks at me, he goes, what? <laughs> he goes, what? 
He goes, what are you talking about? He's like, you don't have to do that. And I'm like, oh, all right. And then he just got silent for like five minutes. And he's like, yeah, I'm about to go talk to some hoes. And left. I was like, oh, this shit was weird. Yeah. I don't remember. I, I would have thought it's over right there. I'd be like, damn. It took a while. I think it wasn't until. It took a minute because when I met you, you was on like, you was on a mission. You was only about hoes. Because, bro, it was a, there was a thing going on. It was, Jesus, it was me, Jesus, and his cousin. It was a whole thing before you got there. So it was I like, know, I know. it was like a whole thing. You Yeah, you knew. So it was like, but it wasn't even about like, yeah. So I, I saw him, he was the, just, there was no real goal. Yeah. He just had tunnel vision. It was he had just tunnel like, vision. So I'm like, like there. It was a whole he's competition. Like, he's like, I'm like, nigga, what? Yeah, yeah. Uh, he was just trying to win. And then like after like, um, once we started, once I showed him some beats, like a little bit beforehand, we we're kicking it. But like mm-hmm. once I started showing him beats and then he got me my first job. Mm-hmm. That wasn't a warehouse job. Mm-hmm. It was at school. He was like, "Yo, just sign up, like, do this, like, work for the school." What mm-hmm. was the job? Some like office shit. I was working. Like some I was working in a game center, room. like yeah. yeah, like community center, like game room, or like front desk. Type yeah, shit. I was yeah. I was working in the game room, yeah. and that's when we started like talking more. Yeah. That's yeah. when like that's when we got mad close. Mm-hmm. And he'd be like, "You heard this album? You fuck with this?" I'm like, "Yeah." yeah. Um, but this is those no like real no real thought. Yeah, no. Then I fucked up and said you look like Tyler. Oh, <laughs> uh, because I used to wear five panels back yeah. then. So when did you guys come together as Paris, Texas? Like officially? I what? remember the day because I have the photo from that day. It was probably like a week a week before that day or so I'm sure, like a little bit before. But I have the photo from when like it was like, okay, land on me. It was right when we met Jeff. Really? It was a little bit like after we met Jeff, that's when we like... Oh, you might be right. That's when we like, we were already rapping and making shit together. But yeah. then like 2017, we had like a fake name that wasn't that. Yeah. No, no. It, I think 2017, we officially had the name or we were coming up with it. I remember we were, yeah. we were, we were still going over at Jesus' house. We yep. were going over there a yep. lot. Yep. Yeah. And so it was like 2017 when mm-hmm. we came up with the name. Yeah. Uh, then like a year later, we dropped our first thing. Yeah. What was the name before the name? We didn't have one. one. Yeah, yeah. We just, we just go by us. like our separate names and, together. Yeah, yeah. And we we didn't release any music, so it was just yeah. We just, just like random be shit. on flyers and just be like, I think you were Mako back then. Yeah, and I was like, I had like five different names. names I was like yeah. Bruce Mighty, A Adrian. I'm stupid. <laughs> uh, I think the one before Louis Pastel was like B D Dream. I don't oh know, yeah, it was Brody like Bad Dream. Dream. It was Brody, so weird. Yeah. Brody, Brody. Dream. yeah, it was so many, it was so much shit, and I was trying to figure it out. Yeah, yeah I might switch it again. I don't give a fuck. Damn, it's on wax. Is it what? It's a whole, it's a whole transition. It's possible though. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just get shot on my my name. You feel what? It's crazy that name that I had, and then everybody liked it later. I'm not gonna say it right now though. I'll say it off camera. Oh yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I'm talking yeah. about. I just can't about. nobody take it. It's kind of hard. All right, I have a gift for you guys. Thank you, bro. Damn. Damn, is it it's condoms? the first time eating this? Lyrical lemonade condoms would be crazy, bro. We could jump on that. Like L- citrus. Like lemon at the head, like a little green thing. That's how you know where the head is. Because you know, on condoms, it'd be so uniform. We got so many kids so as fans. Just, wait, what you mean? So many kids. Bro, practice safe sex, bro. True. You got so many kids. You, you, you guys will be the uh, spokesman. So do you guys censor us if we say something crazy? No, don't, don't have us. We're not sexy, bro, yet. All right. Like, we, I will be in the shit, but like. What is this? What is this? We'll, we'll help you model it, bro. Just safe sex. Appreciate you, man. Oh, Whoa, shit, this, you you're know crazy. Is that a lighter? <laughs> nah, imagine. I just burned it. You're crazy. <laughs> yeah, you're not. Oh. oh. All right. So, <laughs> I've, heard, I've heard you guys don't like the movie. No, way. No, no, I'll say this. It's yeah, not a yeah, bad let's... movie. I get it. It's not for me. I but haven't I even it. seen it. Mm-hmm. I yeah. watched it last night. In for the first time ever? This. I fell asleep halfway through, but I'm eager See? to finish it. Is it? Is it thing? I'll say this. Like, it's a... It's a good movie to reference for shots. It's like a good, oh, it's a good screen grab movie. Yes. It's a really good screen grab movie. Yes. The story gets interesting later, I, but I don't like, if you're gonna have a, if you're gonna be a shitty character, you gotta be at least charismatic, but mm. he's like shitty and boring and weird. He doesn't speak for the first 30 minutes of the whole the entire movie. movie. He's, just, he's just walking around in the desert, bro. His brother, oh, fuck. His brother finds him. I'm gonna I'm spoil it because yeah. it's, his brother finds him. You don't really know what's going on, but his brother, who's like I think in L.A., I think he's like in L.A. He's like in yes. yeah, he's in L.A. because he like hears who's like the grapevine, like where his brother is. 
the whole time the the brother of the main character is taking care of his son. It's like well, they come back okay, around, got it. they're chilling. He starts getting his like mental back slowly but surely. Mm-hmm. Then at one point, I might butcher the movie a little bit, but I just remember watching being like, I don't like this nigga. Then at one point in time, he's like, gets his son, they go to a city. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's Paris, Texas, but he goes to a city to find his like baby mom. Yeah. She's working at this weird double sided brothel. Okay. Like, that's a good scene though, but it's like <laughs> I didn't even get back together. I don't even think like I think he's just like with his, his son, and I forgot what the fuck happens at the end. But I'm like, damn, like plot wise, like this is some white snobby shit. Mm. Some white, there's some white people problems for real. Yeah, because I'm like, bro, what? Yeah, oh, shit is that, bro? Where did the name come from? Was the name based off of the movie? Like, where did you guys come up with Paris? Texas? So here's here's the thing. I saw it on a screen grab, mm-hmm. and I was like. But it was going to be Paris, Texas, 1984 was going to be the full name. Mm-hmm. But I was joking, kind of. Or mm-hmm. I was, like, just playing around with trying to figure out names. Names, yeah. And then bro was like, eh. And I was like, you're right. It was really weird. Like, we're like, that's stupid. Mm-hmm. And then, then I was like, oh, what if we did, like, every show we switched the cities and the, mm-hmm. the date? And then he was like, that'd be hard. And then it got really confusing. But it was weird because the first time we did it, we used Paris, Texas, 1984. And people got it was a band name. They're mm-hmm. like, oh, we fuck with this. Then we said Hollywood, Florida, 2001. They're like, is the show in Hollywood, Florida? <laughs> and I'm like, wait, what? how'd you guys understand like, the first one? <laughs> then we tried it. I think we didn't try it again. We were like, whatever. Yeah, it was and like then, over. then he came to me one day, and you could tell the rest. Yeah, I was on the bus. I was taking the bus. But, uh, I, ever, I was talking to, uh, like, I, I, you probably don't remember him, but it was one of Terrell's homies. Mm. Um, and then we were talking about it, I was on the bus that day, and I was just like, oh, the name makes sense. I was like, once I realized, like, just the name in of, it, in of itself, like, just the juxtaposition of both places, like, if you separate the names as individual, I was like, that makes sense. So mm. I was like, I felt like it matched what we were doing and, like, our personalities at the time. Yeah. It just felt like it was like, this fits. Like yeah. These two opposite places fit like uh-huh. our li- our timeline right now yeah. in mm-hmm. life. I think we did like especially back then we like couldn't really find a place. So, like we were like it was like weird. Like people would like we would we're doing music for a while. Mm-hmm. It took us a while to even like be confident enough to just make it on our own because mm-hmm. we'd go to other people and mm-hmm. then no one knew what to do with us. Yeah, not like managers on industry shit, but just like even friends who were like in a position where they're like. You want to with stuff like right. people didn't know how to rap on my beats. Right, uh, people didn't know how to rap with us. Yeah, people didn't know like what we were even trying to do. Mm-hmm. Like, we were out of place everywhere we went because we were making club stuff. We mm-hmm. were making nerdy shit. Mm-hmm. Like we had like a group of friends that were like doing music. They were really good at like popping. It was like a, a crazy timeline we can go down one day. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Like it's such a crazy timeline. Yeah. Uh, just specific people the specific like, people it's so crazy around different eras yes yeah, interesting and a lot of times we would just be like yeah like we're not on the same shit they're on yeah so it was like Paris and Texas is like kind of like that which like mm-hmm. those are two opposite places like it doesn't make any sense yeah mm-hmm. yeah I think that's what the beauty of it too because like Hollywood Florida kind of makes sense yeah. right yeah, yeah. it's right. like but Paris Texas no so when you guys dropped heavy metal back in 2021, it received a lot of praise. Mm-hmm. How did it feel when you guys dropped the video and that debut single got so much praise just out the gate? It was weird for me. Yeah. 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 I have a theory as to why though. Mm. Um, why was, it got popping? Yeah, of course. Mm. I think it was just post COVID. Mm-hmm. And even before that, the timeline of music was looking really weird. Cause we, just left the SoundCloud era. Yep. People didn't know exactly what to do next. Mm-hmm. I think they hadn't seen anything like that in a minute. Yeah. So it was like, that's where it hit, where people were like, okay, like, yeah, like, we needed a shift for a while. Mm-hmm. And so that, that added to it. Because I don't think it went, it didn't go viral. I think just musically, people kind of like, like, I talk to Oz about it all the time, we laugh, but like, is literally like everybody's playing the game like this and that video made them be like okay hold on like right yeah like we we're just it's funny because like even now i think we're just always which is a good reference point for people mm-hmm. like people are like i don't think people will fuck with us like that 
But we have our fan, like we have a cult fan base, and we're like learning to like make more broad music. Um, but we're mad debatable on whether we're good or not. Mm -hmm. Kind of the, our long story of us not belonging. But, but we did some crazy shit, and people are like, okay, like we gotta be on that shit. We right. gotta be on that. Like people in so many rooms are like, oh, the video's crazy. Oh, yeah. like yeah. you guys are making like this music <laughs> is like crazy, but like it's not gonna be. We're gonna be low, like mainstream shit. Yeah, not yet. Yeah. Next one. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, Maybe. Really, man, that's a crazy video. Yeah. Every time we jump in the room, everybody's like, "Fuck." That one yeah. Up, yeah. That's that video was <clears throat> that video was probably one of my favorite music videos ever. Like, it came out just the the opening scene is nuts. Yeah. Just the yeah. first fifteen seconds of that video just kept capture you in a certain mm. in yeah. a certain way. That uh, yeah, like when you guys first dropped that, and obviously I knew Jimmy and and Mike mm -hmm. and them before, but like. I remember we were all in here, Cole, Jake, and we were watching that video like nonstop for like four days. Talking about bullet men or heavy metal? Heavy, uh, metal. heavy metal. That's okay. crazy. And um, yeah, interesting. Speaking of videos, though, um, so like every single music video that you guys have released has really good attention to detail and just like cinematic qualities. Mm -hmm. What role do you guys play in bringing your videos to life? Uh, I write all of them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then I'll come to them and then we'll write it together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So like certain things like but I have too many ideas. Mm -hmm. So, like, I just sit down and be like, all right, I want to do this. And, like, we just I bring it to whoever we're working with. Mostly Oz. I think mm -hmm. Oz, we laugh about that, too. Like, I have a bad tendency of being like, I don't know if I can do that. And mm -hmm. Oz will be like, we can. Right. So, like, that's why I like content. Oz is fucking annoying because he's just like. He'll be like, too ready. He'll be too ready. And then he's just like, he just will, he'll like tack on anything. Like, right. so we're always stressing day of filming, but yeah. he's like really calm and being like, no, we got it. I was like, dude, what? Yeah. yeah. But it's, it's usually that. I just like, I'll draw it all out. Yeah. yeah. Fucking genius. Yeah. You you write every single video that you got? That is nuts. Besides, everyone besides except for everybody safe. Everybody's safe until but everyone I draw. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. I'll just draw it Do out. Do you have the drawings? Oh, uh, I could. You somewhere. have to archive all those. Yeah, you have to. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes I, it's funny because Oz posted them and they thought it was Oz who drew it. Right, because yeah. he's Fucking posting Oz. it. Yeah. <laughs> but he guy. knows it's funny because he he'll, yeah, he'll, <laughs> put, he'll put Louis Pastel, but people don't know who Louis Pastel, Pastel is. is. Yeah, they only know Paris, Texas. So right. like they're like they was like he like posting. They're like, damn, you're a genius. I'm like, nigga, god damn. Yeah. But people, I don't think people know. Like we put written by yeah. Paris, Texas, and people don't understand. If I put, put if I put written by Louis Pastel, they don't know who that is. Right. I think about Paris, Texas, but then I think people do this thing. But shout out Ox, he makes the vision like come together for yeah, sure. Like, and, yeah, every for director sure. we work with, like Jamek. Yep. Uh Noah. Uh also Bradley and Bradley and, and Nima. Shout out Nima. Nima. Shout out Nima for real yeah, boy. But they're um what was I gonna say? Yeah, but I think people see director and they they don't know what that means from an outside perspective. But yeah. it's a lot of it's a lot of like me curating like what happens here. Mm -hmm. and, like even in an editing room, I like stay in the editing room for like I'll be in there like for a week. No. Yeah. Like even like Bullet Man was like probably the longest I've been in the editing room. Because mm -hmm. that one didn't feel right. But like yeah, I just like pieced it together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So I saw that you guys released that six part short series on YouTube. Yeah. Um Clearly, you guys have like natural acting ability. Mm. Is that something that either of you want to pursue in the future? No, we weren't supposed to be in that. No, yeah, we weren't supposed. To, yeah, that was a whole different story. Yeah, but we yeah, nah, we weren't supposed to be in that. I'm not trying to be. Act I'll be a voice actor, but not. I don't yeah, I don't want to be an actor. actor. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean you weren't supposed to be in there? We weren't like, supposed to be in it. That wasn't the original story. story I had was, written it. It was a whole different story. Yeah, really. I had yeah. to rewrite it because there's this guy we know, child yeah. Alex. He, yeah. he writes on the bear. Yeah, and we were like with a bunch of people, and I told him about this idea I had, and they're like, you should talk to Alex. I was like Alex, and he had watched the original thing we did with the ditch May shit, mm -hmm. and I was like telling about the story I wanted to do, and he was like, "Nah, bro, like you gotta be in it because nobody knows who you guys are. Mm -hmm. Like you guys have to be in it." So we had to like rewrite everything within yeah. like a month, and then I don't, I really don't want to act. It's fun. Voice acting's funny. Voice acting is the yeah, best. But like, I don't being know in front of camera. Acting. It's like, oh hell no, nah. nah. <laughs> That's interesting. You guys are good at it. Like, Damn. I, we just, have, we just. I don't, even I don't know. even know. I don't even know how to explain it. Yeah, I think I we just like mat, naturally that kind of goofy. Good chemistry. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. But some people are even nuttier. Yeah. They, some people really know what's, what's mm -hmm. going on. Uh, with damn, the acting shit. Yeah. The thought that you said um, how people will know Paris, Texas, but won't know like 
you individually. individually. Yeah. Um, I think I thought that that was intentional. Like you guys, mm. you know, a certain artist master like mysterious branding. Yeah. Like Frank yeah. Ocean or like Yeet or somebody. Yeah. Right. Were you guys trying to do that at all? Because I feel like in a sense, you guys have done that pretty well. Up in, the in the beginning. In the, in the yeah, early days for sure. Yeah. yeah. That's why even like when we were brainstorming, when he was brainstorming the title for the first project. It was like, that made sense. Yeah, boy, yeah, boy, boy anonymous. anonymous. Yeah. yeah. We try to, but it's like, I think this day and age is really, you have to have such phenomenal music to be mysterious. Yeah. But like, even then, it, it ends at a certain point in time. Right. You got to reveal. Like, you got to have such undeniable, like, but even with that, like, I think that's what works for us. I think either the music is undeniable, but even then, it, it doesn't help. You also mm -hmm. need like crazy visuals, like crazy album art. Yeah. Like, that's the only way it works. And like, we were just working with like nothing. Right. So we were like, fuck it. Like, we gotta be in everything. We were trying to be, like, we were trying to be so not visible to Yeah, everybody. like we moved, bro. It was yeah. a whole idea. It was a bunch of shit. Yeah, it was we like a whole like, story that was We were trying to happen. be like the gorillas and like right. every time we did like a song, we'd have like a bunch of like, we always wanted to grab people originally. Mm -hmm and like make them rap on something they usually don't rap on. Right, or just yeah. like change their, their thing. like have a space to be like, I could kind of be the person that maybe I've always wanted to try to be, or maybe like I've always wanted to explore this lane of music, but people know me for this, mm -hmm. and just go under a character in the world type shit. Yeah, it was yeah. not supposed to be. Yeah. yeah. So like people don't know who, who they, they're starting to know. No, like kind of. The fans, the fans know, the fans, mm -hmm. yeah. they press me a lot. Right. Yeah. Yeah, but I think, I think I know visually will make it make sense for people. Yeah. It's like a specific way you have to communicate the language visually. Yeah. And then people be like, oh. But then, because like, once that happens, that's when you get like, like obviously with stuff like this too, but like once you do something like that, that's when you get, okay, now I know who makes the beats. Now I know who does mm -hmm. this. Or now I know like, that you'll start to see the personalities blend within yeah, everything. Yeah, we, we gotta figure it out. Because right now, like, sometimes yeah. I wanna yell about it, but I feel like if you yell out loud, mm -hmm. like, we go to the internet. I already fucked up doing that this year on my own personal page. But like, when you run the internet with like emotions or like ego shit, mm -hmm. like you automatically fuck up. You have mm -hmm. to like keep, you have to keep the illusion up that you're doing well at all times. Mm -hmm. Like you don't like, I have, to, I have to figure that out through this year. It was like mm -hmm. a big like, okay, like let me step back and be like, mm -hmm. I'll, people will find out when they find out. I don't need to be like, hey, by the way, right. I did the, right. like, it's like, like who cares at the end of the day? It's like, is it good or not? Yeah. Mm. yeah. So you guys released Mid Air just over yeah. a month ago. Yeah. Can you mm. tell me about the creation process of that project? Bro, it feels like such a blur, but like, yeah. The first, we started it kind of, it was wonky. Some personal family shit happened. Then there was like a period we didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then like, we kind of still, we had like a few ideas that we were playing around with. Then we're like, fuck it, let's just lock in. And we'd go from like Burbank and downtown, like back to back. Uh -huh. But we started kind of in Burbank and then we went to a studio downtown and then it just started happening there. Yeah. It like, it, and, that, and that time too is crazy because it had a lot to do with routine. Like you get there, like I remember eating like the same specific meal every day and like doing the same shit, like drinking water. And like, I just remember doing certain shit and then like going to the studio, come out, going to the studio, come out. And then like from that point on, I remember too, cause not everything was done. Mm. And I think like, I don't remember when we were talking, you'd be like, or like we talked to the team about it, like what's it looking like? And I was like, we have a lot of songs, they're just not done. Yeah. And I remember you being like, bro, there's not that many songs. I'm like, Are you sure? I'm, like, I'm pretty sure like, I remember the verse doing verses and like, there's a lot of verses written. Like it may not yeah. make it, but there's a lot of shit that's happened. Yeah. You're like, nah. And then once we started doing track list and you're like, oh yeah, we do have a lot of shit. I'm like, yeah, we have yeah, a lot of shit. A lot of shit. <laughs> I don't know when it happened though. It just kind of happened. A lot, of, a lot of beats. I was yeah. making. I was making like a lot of, a lot of beats. Mm -hmm. I was like just really experimenting. I'm not really that good at beats, but like the first time I think I got like outside help. Mm -hmm. Uh, not much, but like enough. Mm -hmm. Where it's like little atmospheric shit. Like we had our friend M. Mm -hmm. He like engineered a lot of it. Yeah. And I was like in the studio, just like a lot. I was kind of lost my mind a little bit. Mm -hmm. I was just like, all right, like. Let's try this out. Let's try this out. Let's try this out. I was like mm -hmm. really doing a lot. Mm -hmm. And I don't think I'm gonna do that again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I learned my lesson. And like, Dilip too. Dilip was yeah. Dilip. Dilip. It was mainly things that like how do we strengthen certain things or like mm -hmm. build things up. Damn near, bro. Synonymous to like how niggas would go about videos. Yeah. Also, like I know what I want to do. Like he'll be like, I know how I want this to sound. 
Mm-hmm. Sometimes niggas just add shit or like yeah. amplify it or be like, okay, this is how you execute this or like, mm-hmm. would you want to throw this? And it's like, brings all collaboration for mm-hmm. real. Yeah, for but real, for real. It's a lot of a lot of it's like the mm-hmm. same directorial with the sound. It was, it was, it was like a lot playing. Of, it was a lot of Dillip, a lot of Luca. It was mm-hmm. like a lot of like B sides, like mm-hmm. not really shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, with Luca, yeah, shout out. Luca. really proud of Luca. Is like the best person right with ever. Yeah, um, he's also Bill. Bill, Bill helped early. Bill on. for show. Oh my Bill. god, yeah, Bill big shout out, Bill. Yeah, Bill was helping out crazy <laughs> for show. Uh, so yeah, but it was just like that. It was just like trying out beats and like mm-hmm. trying to advance. But it was like a lot of family shit going on, like a lot of, yeah. a lot of crazy shit on both ends. Yeah. So it was like, how did you come up with the title? We've had it since Boy Anonymous. Anonymous yeah. Mm-hmm. So we were automatically like, first it just sounded cool. And then mm-hmm. our manager mm-hmm. was like, oh, that makes sense. Cause you guys are like in a weird point in your lives. Mm-hmm. Like you guys could go more up. You guys could go more down. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, that's true. It's funny. Cause like, as we're making it, like it felt like that a lot of times. It felt like yeah. a weird purgatory. Yeah. Like we like shot into the space, but it mm-hmm. was like, it's like it's like you shoot up and you're not looking up, you're just looking down. Like, damn, if I hit the floor, it's gonna hurt. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So it's like it's gonna hurt a lot if I don't like keep going mm-hmm. up. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of space, what's with uh, Mars? I've noticed like the profile photo and then in that short, that six part uh, short series, like you were going to Mars at the end. That's where we're mm-hmm. going. That's what the yeah. That's, that's where you, the that's where the jump about. was too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Trying to reach yeah. somewhere new. Oh, you can oh. put it for the interview. Yeah, yeah. I'm working yeah, yeah. On, it's like a. I'm working on like a thing. Mm-hmm. It's like a whole thing. I was I was supposed to do it. I gotta start while I'm on tour. I gotta start writing. But I'm like talking to like cartoonists and like not cartoonists. I'm talking to like a, a, a comic book artist. Shout out Alien Monkey. Mm-hmm. And we're trying to like I'm trying to like make sure I like expand the story because it was like what we were talking about earlier where the story was different. Mm-hmm. How we have to rewrite it. Mm-hmm. It was like we have to put ourselves into like in a a different idea mm-hmm. so we're probably gonna expand on it more mm-hmm. like it'll make sense later mm-hmm. <clears throat> i saw that the only features on the project were kenny and tizo yeah. why did you two choose them to be a part of this project uh honestly just because we fuck with them as people yeah they were just homies yeah. they're just people we just really like. good people i think they're the only people that like we just respect it Mm-hmm. And then also got to like chill with, and I felt mm-hmm. like we're all like kind of weirdly the same boat. Like we all met our first year we got popping. They were the ones we met. Mm-hmm. Who were like, it didn't feel like we got to get together and like make some shit. We got to make a hit. Yeah. Like we just literally just we spent most time with both of them. Like both those songs got done on their ends in like thirty minutes. But we spent like probably like at least five days with them right. separately chilling like just talking playing mm-hmm. mario party laughing yeah theories just like yeah not even like yeah just talking bro just talking about his real life shit for real just getting to know each other so it just felt necessary because i felt like we all kind of were in the same space yeah mm-hmm. yeah uh they're both great. I love Tizo so much. Tizo's like one of the most interesting uh, For sure. artists Tizo's the of one. our generation. That's a special boy, yeah, bro. That's the one. That's the one. That's, that's a the real, one. Yeah, that's, that's a real the guy. One. That's, the, <laughs> that's, that's the one for real. I heard that uh, you guys are fans of Chance's Christmas album. Bro, that's the. <laughs> don't even let us get into it, bro. Because not even going to. Bro, that's a good. <laughs> that's It's a good It's a good project. Which I'll just one? say this. I think like. They're all the same kind of. Like, one or two though there's one is really like crazy yeah. two is tight too the christmas album really i feel like and don't get me wrong great project i feel like out of his whole catalog even with like the little b project i feel like that's probably the worst i'll, I'll say this this i feel like the christmas albums for some odd reason i feel like with the, all the other projects he felt like after acid rap we were getting a lot of like like this is like there's intention behind it. Mm-hmm. So it kind of got in a way of him just like rapping. Right. Like rapping and doing fun, cool shit. Yeah. It's like coloring book is coloring book is cool, but it's like you could tell he's like, now I'm really about to put this God shit on y'all. And it's like, mm-hmm. bro, what? But with Christmas one, it's like weirdly enough, he just let go and just had fun. Yeah. And there's God shit on there. Yeah. Yeah. Like no, even the true. last song, niggas wishing Jesus happy birthday. But that melody just like it's like magical. Y'all know, bro. He's from the town, bro. He's from here. 
Yeah. But that the first that one is crazy. And Jeremiah's going crazy. Jeremiah's so good. Like their chemistry, I was like, I didn't even know this was gonna happen. Mm-hmm. But they're going crazy. And then what? He had the fucking uh what's the shit where Jeremiah does the a cappella? He doesn't even do a beat. There's uh, no uh, beat. Uh Shy Town Christmas. Christmas, yeah. Shy Town what? Christmas. Come on, bro. Yeah, there's a lot of cool shit. And the on. melody in the beginning, the melody on the first song with the legs up. Hello, kitty. Legs up. I'm like, bro, they're just going crazy. one song, the one, because uh, they're, they're similar. I always get them mixed up, though. Which was like The Snowden one? Yeah, Snowden is crazy. Come on, Maybe Chris's little mom at the end is like, That's Whoa. what I'm saying, bro. What? That shit is crazy. Even the Lodfo one, Lodfo's verse on there is so tight. Mm-hmm. He just go. I was listening to that verse like a few months ago, and I was like, bro. Lodfo. I he said. That. Hey, look what you done done to me Hard bro <laughs> That guy came in crazy I was like hey okay you, um, I don't even know who this is But he fitting in You got crazy That nigga yeah. was going This is where we jump back in hey, uh, I actually saw that you guys were just listening To Tizo's album Yeah How was yeah. it? Oh 10 out of 10 It's tight bro 10 out of 10 is crazy That boy's going yeah, bro that's, Yeah that's His writing is crazy Yeah it's Writing crazy. is crazy Experimentation is crazy It's crazy yeah bro Yeah Fire. So tomorrow you guys officially begin the mid air tour. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How does it feel to finally be starting your first headlining tour? It's crazy that damn near all of them are sold out. Yeah, that, that was crazy. That was crazy. I didn't expect that. At all, bro. Yeah. At all. Yeah. Like Roxy, I didn't know that was gonna happen. Yeah, and they're not they're not little rooms. Yeah. Not all of them. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I just didn't know that was gonna happen. Mm-hmm. And if you put all the rooms in one place, it's even crazier. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just so take like, all the capacities. I feel like really honored. Yeah, it's crazy. We did like a mini one like two years ago, and that was already crazy. But like, yeah. it's crazy to like, because like, even in between time, we've been doing like festivals so much, right. which is cool. Yeah. But it's not like they're there for us. Right, not all the time. Yeah, so like there's a lot of times where like, nothing's crazy than being at a festival and like you're singing a song and you're like, and niggas is like, bro, shut up. Like, right. And this one is like, damn, even thinking about it right now, I'm like, yeah, I don't know. We might not have to sing a lot of these songs for real. Yeah. Like, we might need more beat drops in the set. Yeah. Because, like, I'm a singer with y'all, but, like, damn. Like, niggas going to yeah. beat me to it. I'm really curious how Force of Habit is going to do. Nigga, what? Oh, the house going to come me out. Because I feel like I've seen this. Yeah. At least with festival shit, it's like I think people, our fans, the people who are there, aren't there for Force of Habit. As, yeah, because I guess even more fans that... More of the fans, or more of the people who aren't fans at first, hear Force of Habit, and that gets saved on everybody's shit. It does, but that but it's like the core it, fan, it, the yeah. core fan. No, because I'm like, bro, I had somebody hit me up, uh-huh. like, be like, you're playing Pack for the Low, right? Oh, but one person though. It's like a couple people. And in, in the list, I, I look, I was like, mm, we probably should have kept Casino though. Yeah, but there's a lot For of people nostalgia. who are like, we should have kept Casino in there. So it's crazy. This feels crazy. It yeah. feels crazy because I'm like, damn, yeah. this is like cool. A lot of people can't. To do this, yeah, yeah. At least at this time, yeah. At this time, in this specific moment, it's hard to do. Mm-hmm. But it's good though, bro. Shout out to the fans for real. Yeah, yeah, shout cool. out, man. It's good. Yeah. This is really it good. Really good. We didn't. It's important. It's like, we did. We did festivals, but like we. This is our first tour. We're not. I, I'm gonna say this before we get out of here too. It's like one and up. He's really putting shit on their back. That's crazy. Bro. Bro, it's, we really putting, that's like, I think people don't get that. I'm going to say it right now so people get it. It's like there's so much, like, not help we get. Bro. Like, there's not that much help. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. So, like, when shit like this happens, I'll be really happy because it's like, you go in there, we're like, we're like, it's, it's like, shout out to him for trust me too. It's like, relying on myself for beats, relying on myself for, like, visuals, mm-hmm. relying on myself for all this shit. Mm-hmm. And then like rely on him for rapping because I'm not a rapper nasty. I can, I got bars, but I'm not like that. Mm-hmm. And then people still like kind of showing out for it. And then like it's so hard. It's like hard. Mm-hmm. I like I look at other artists sometimes. I'm like, damn, y'all niggas get way more help than y'all pretend. Like, y'all oh, really it's crazy. crazy. But it's, it's like, hey, crazy. get it how you live, man. Get it how you live. Like, get it how you live. One day the story's gonna be crazy when we go like, oh, bro. It's like yeah. we, we get sold out shows and we do the first tour. It's like. It paid off. Yeah, bro. Sometimes people like, for real, bro. Like we doing everything by ourselves. And he forced me to do some shit by myself too. Sometimes I don't want to sing shit. He'd be like, sing it. I'm like, nigga, this sucks. Yeah, nah, you yeah, gotta do crazy. it, bro. You got to, bro. Yeah. Uh, 
Who are some artists or producers that you guys want to work with in the future? No, um, I think I already did what I wanted to do. Yeah, I don't even know. Yeah, bro. I really went with Cortizo, got that. I want to do another one. Yeah, like, that too. Yeah, that'd, that'd be, be like, fun as fuck. That'd be fun. I also feel like it's like we did like a parody song with him. Mm-hmm. Like that song is genius to me because it's like it's like multi layered. Like mm-hmm. I think people just think the joke is the London thing, but it's, that's not really the joke. The mm-hmm. joke is really that like. We're calling this woman that we like in London a bitch the entire song. And then it comes like this little ballad. Yeah. It's like the juxtaposition of being like a dude where you're like, it's like you, you hear the punky shit and you're like, with my bitch. And you're like, yeah, like we're doing all this shit. Yeah. And really, it's like, actually, I want my girl for real. Like, I really, hey. yeah, it's like, I want to do like another one with him. That'd be fire. And another, another one with that, Kenny, oh. too. Yeah, another one with Kenny. And with Billy. More with Billy though. Billy Lima. Billy and Luca, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Luca's gonna be Matt. tight. Matt. Just have fun, bro. You we work with already. I feel like Look here. everybody else is like would say things things I'm, things I'm already fans of or like things I'm like, there's nothing I can add to it. Like yeah. in my heroes, I'm like, what right. the fuck am I gonna do for like Drake? Right. Yeah, the heroes yeah, like, already done. Yeah, it's already himself. done. Like even if I was like as fire as Drake, let's say if I'm like that dude, like yeah. I, I'm like doing like number one songs it's like i like what this is i don't want to add to it mm-hmm. like things i'm fans of I'm like you got it mm-hmm. like i don't want you to add to my shit either like mm-hmm. i like i'd rather see you from a distance and be like a fan like i'm mm-hmm. a fan of people. is collaboration weird for you guys i've heard certain artists say like uh, i interviewed mavi and mavi said he thinks collaboration feels like forced marriage you guys ever feel that way or not sometimes bro sometimes. it depends it depends i feel like if you it sucks when I think like I've been working with certain people recently before a tour started. I think sometimes people, and it's been our whole career too, which is funny. Even before we got popping, some people have the wrong idea of what you are, and yeah. that's what gets weird. That's yeah. why, like, with even like Tizo and Kenny, like we knew them, right? Like it wasn't like it didn't feel like oh we got to do this because like like nah like we just like. Like Tizo don't gain nothing from doing a song with us, right? Like he don't get. It's not like his. It's not gonna do anything. Yeah. Like, and even Kitty, it's like they're, they're the bigger artists. It's like, mm-hmm. and we don't really gain anything either. It's like because we're already like we're somewhat we're like right under them the bracket of like weird niggas who do rock shit. Ugh. Yeah. So it's like, I don't know. I'm I'm gonna go back to the last question. I will say, uh, four five four. Oh, and yeah. knock knock hell for sure mm. but collaboration bro you gotta think about it like when we started trying to make shit we tried to collaborate mm. and it wasn't like niggas were like nah they just didn't know how to tell us no but they were kind of just like ah, i don't really know how to help you mm. okay then for the longest time it was just me and him mm. for a long time bro like a long time and then once everything happened like heavy metal and stuff and like or even just doing sessions and shit it was like it was almost like, damn, like, I don't know how to date anyone else. Not even on no weird shit. It's like, nigga, I don't know how to, like, uh. Yeah. Like, I don't even know how to, like, I'm like, bro, we so, we so in our own bag right now. I don't know yeah. what to even say to you. Versus, yeah. like, and then, yeah, people have, or some people just literally, like you said, like, had a wrong idea. Like, they yeah. come in and it's like, because they only hear one thing mm-hmm. or they haven't sat with us to, like, just, like, go even, back and forth. Even when I tell people no sometimes, so I'll be like, nah, or like, I'm, I'll, like, if I feel like you're being cool, I'll, like, I'll try. It'll be like, I had somebody, I don't say his name afterwards, like I'll play the music. It's like, it's how we get like weird, like, like really like vibey music, like really like mm-hmm. Motown beats and mm-hmm. like lyrical shit that'd be like crazy. I'm like, I'm a fan, but like, I like your shit. Have you heard anything we've done, dumbass? I fuck with you, but like, that's, are you stupid? Like, you dumb? Like, you talk like, like, what are you doing, J. Cole ass music? You think the niggas who talking about some London bitch is gonna sound fire over this? Right. Are you crazy? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? That's right. so nuts. But I fuck, like, I, not even them, be, like, I don't, I don't, like, it's just like, I think, I don't know how to explain it. It's like, it's just like, what, what do you Context, really think is yeah. gonna happen? Yeah. Right. Like, what are you expecting us to bring to this? But, yeah. sometimes that's important too. It just depends on the context, bro, honestly. Yeah. Because sometimes that can happen. It's the same way you'll hear, like, artists on a song and, like, that's like, fair. who is this? That's fair. That's fair. So like, it just, it just, but sometimes it's context. It just depends. Mm-hmm. And it depends on the relationship before the music too. Sometimes mm-hmm. just depends, bro. 
Yeah. Yeah. All right, last question. Yeah. Where do you see yourselves in five years? Oh my god, bro. I try to I try to answer this question, bro. Like on my own, and I'm like, nigga, I don't know. I'm only thinking about life shit. I don't know, bro. Just better, bro. Honestly, just better, yeah. man. Just better. I might. I want to lead more into like just helping. Yeah, giving a too. helping hand to this yeah, nigga. Bro. I want to start doing marketing stuff for people. Yeah, because it's just and like I think I think I want to start like for sure like they like I do want like a like a good charting album. I do want like. Just see, yeah, yeah. Just yeah I, see. Need, I need like one, like, all right, like, let's see what happens if we tap into, into like, this. Yeah, yeah like, tap into I, and like, I already know what that's gonna. That's gonna I know like, what that will look like. Yeah, but like, yeah, I know what like, that. Yeah, tap into that in like maybe three years. Yeah, after that, just be like, just a guiding hand for people. <laughs> right, like not everybody needs to be the chef, man. Yeah, yeah it's not that important. Yeah, yeah, it's like you. The, to the kids out there, you'll you'll learn more if you do that. You'll have more fun. But I mm-hmm. think if you're like. If everybody's trying to be like the that one guy, yeah, bro, it like it doesn't make any sense. Play your yeah, role, play nigga. your role. Like you almost create like it's it's you create something better by just like playing to your strengths, and, mm-hmm. like, doing the thing, and like. But I think sometimes people get like the ego thing happens, and then mm-hmm. also I think the people who like get the people who get in a position where like they are the star, they are like the lead person, like they assume they have to be a dickhead because that's what they see other people doing. It's like, that's also like a lame thing to do. It's just like, and that's, yeah. Yeah. It's just like, like it's like a distrust thing, but mm-hmm. I feel like everybody can eat. Everybody should help each other out. Mm-hmm. That's what I want to do. Yeah. I feel like yeah. five years from now, like build some type of community thing for mm-hmm. everybody. Yeah. It'd be crazy. Mm-hmm.